but I don't think with him. It gets worse. Just this week, Michelle Bachman actually predicted that I would bring about the biblical end of days. Now that's a legacy. That's big. I mean, Lincoln, Washington, they didn't do that. You will never see it coming. You think I'm joking? You can't say it, but you know it's true. Good evening, everybody. It is an honor to be here at my last, and perhaps the last, White House Correspondent Day. I'm out. Now, here you guys go. We have a Bible verse, John 5, 43, where Jesus said, I come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, you will receive him you will receive. Now, here is the Pope fulfilling that. And you notice how this thing blew up on him, just like a lizard, a lizard. Give you a moment where you can read that. But we know their plan. We also know that it's coming to an end now. You know, and these are more things that a lot of people aren't even aware of it. This is some of the literature that I'm going to be handing out to some of these churches. You know, because most of them have no idea these things have even happened. You know. But these are more Bible verses to go with that. You know, but, you know, this, this isn't even scratching the surface. Now here... We go into where Obama is saying America is no longer a Christian nation. And, well, he said it's no longer just a Christian nation, but a nation of many religions. Okay? And then here we see when he was elected... The day after, the lottery in Chicago was 666. This is a lot of things people don't realize that this is spiritual. Everything is spiritual, what's happening, okay? And uh, what a lot of people don't realize, even the churches, we wrestle not with flesh and blood but spiritual principalities. You know, these are the things that happened right in front of everybody's face, but they just didn't see it or hear it. crazy you know another thing what a lot of people don't realize is the things that came into effect just in his time being in and how he brought a lot of Bible uh, prophecy to be fulfilled Literally, 
And here's another thing that a lot of people don't even realize. Okay? I try to leave it there long enough to where you guys can maybe read it, finish it, but these are quotes from the Bible. Now, this is something else that a lot of people don't know. Now, you see how there's George Washington, the Bush. That's what the deficit was to what he added to it. See, what a lot of people don't realize, this is the very end now. We've reached the time, you know, when you hear the people laughing and how he looks at them with a serious look like, you know, like they don't see it coming. He knows. He knows. So do a lot of them in the White House. They know exactly what they did because this is exactly what many of the nation's leaders have done. The wolves in the sheep's clothing, let me tell you, they're in all the high places and low. They're all around us, you guys. All around us. But remember this, what Jesus Christ did on the cross, and he said, those that repent and call on his name will be delivered. Okay? Do not grieve the Holy Spirit that comes from God in which we are redeemed by. Do not grieve it. God bless you guys. And I hope and pray that you guys get something from this message. And remember, the time is near. We're very close. I'll probably do a live uh, upload later on, you guys. I'll be talking with you soon. We'll do some... Bible study, and there's nothing like it, man. It's what we should be doing in these last days. But this is some of the literature that I'm going to be handing out to some of these churches. And this doesn't even really scratch the surface, but, you know, these are the things that I've mentioned to other people in the churches, and they don't even know any of these things. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ.